What's that plan, Roger? There is no plan. Oh, that, that is, plan. That is the plan. That is the plan. So, Roger, tell me a little bit about your weekend. Well, it wasn't much of a weekend. It started out as a midweek and kind of ended short, but it was a great weekend. Went over to the Mountain View Motorcycle Campground over in uh, Elk Park, North Carolina. And what was that campground like? Uh, it was nice. It was, uh, it was more of a dual sport centric or uh, adventure bike centric uh, establishment. Uh, catering to those folks that like to ride those uh, excellent gravel roads in that area. Oh. Uh, a lot of great people, uh, met people from all over, and uh, so they had uh, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, uh, the Dueling Banjos uh, Dual Sport Rally. Oh, nice. And, uh, I think uh, well, Saturday morning, as I was getting packed up, because I had to leave early, they were uh, 38 uh, dual sport venture bikes there. Nice. Now, you said you met the owners of the campground. Very nice people, you said. Yep. And they, they're the ones who sponsor the whole rally? Uh, I don't know if it's a, they sponsor it or if it's just a group of guys, a group of friends that, that said, hey, let's do this and call it that. Okay. I, I don't know. They could be, but it's basically just a, an excuse for you know, a bunch of people get together and do dual sport rides. Uh, uh, there's many, many miles of uh, gravel roads in the area, and there's... You know, the Smoky Mountain 1000 goes right by their, you know, right by their place. And of course, uh, there was one, uh, one man there that, um, that had, uh, he was doing the Smoky Mountain 1000. And he got there a day or two early, and he decided he was staying for the rally and rode, rode with them all weekend. So, oh, yeah. nice. Now, for people who don't know, Elk Park is only about an hour, a little hour and 15 minutes from here, but what's it close to for people trying to get a reference? Well, it's right there, uh, tucked up close to the Tennessee state line there, uh, and I think Road Mountain is only five or six miles away, and uh, Banner Elk is in the vicinity, uh, 15, 17, uh, what, 15 minutes away. Okay. And, uh, of course, that area, you know, we rode uh, on Friday. I went on the group ride, and we rode 130 some miles, and we ate lunch in Burlington, North Carolina. Okay. And we never touched the same road twice. So. <laughs> I gotta and love that. One of the guys there said, "There's a thousand miles of gravel road within a hundred miles of that um, that campground." So, you know. It's, it's right down my alley, my cup of tea, you know. Even though I'm not riding a dual sport, you know, there was a few big bikes there. Uh, there was a GS, there was some KTM 690s, 790s, and uh, Triumph 900. And he rode the wheels off that Triumph. <laughs> now, you were out there for a couple of days and you were on that Africa Twin. Did, yeah. you, did you get on any roads just in your time there that you didn't think the Africa Twin should be on? No, no, no. Okay. No. Everything was very doable on the AT. And, mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, it's I, I a. I might have went a little bit slower than some of those uh, <laughs> younger gents, but uh, that's so be it, you know. Well, that's just it. They haven't. They're not old enough. The ground's not that hard for them. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I don't know about you, but I have a ton of fun even at the slower speeds. I don't need to be going fast to have fun. No, it's a, speed is a relative term, and if you're so inclined to do 45 plus miles an hour on gravel roads, you can go at it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with my mid-20s, occasional mid-30s. 
when I hit my head real hard, I might go a little faster. But <laughs> see, for me, when I hit my head real hard, that's when I go, oh, I better slow down. <laughs> uh, but it's not that far away. It's got a decent campground. You said it's got um, some small shower facilities, bathroom. Um, yeah. Bathroom showers. It's got um, five or six bunks and. Uh, so to speak, and uh, there's two small cabins with twin beds in it, and then there's one cabin with, uh, there's one cabin that has two twin beds in it. That's kind of a cool setup too, because it was an old existing building, probably for when it was an orchard, and they've set it up as a uh, like an off-grid, oh. so with solar panels. And, it does have, I don't know which way to go. Well, I think right would take us right back where we were when we got to the mud. Well, have we been that way? I think we have. Yeah, we have. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, the facilities were adequate. Uh, they have uh, <laughs> they have some Porta John facility, uh, John set up uh, throughout the, the property. Yeah, you know, uh, he does. Uh, ADV skills training there. Oh, nice. It was kind of cool looking at the course. You know, they they got single track on the property that they use for their training course. And, uh, so it's a you know interesting people, nice people, very welcoming. Uh, even though that's the first time I'd ever been there, they made me feel like you know was I a lifelong friend. Nice. You know, hopefully I keep going over there and, you know, learn those gravel roads because we have pretty much exhausted what's available close. Yeah, unless we're going back over and doing them in like a reverse direction or something. Yeah. We have. We've hit a lot of this stuff out here. Now, there may be stuff we don't know about, but for the most part, what we know of, we've been to. Yeah. So, the campground is nice. It's got um, facilities if you need it. If you're going to be there for a few days, you can take a shower. But it's also got remote tent sites where you can go and be by yourself. Need to go to the facility in the middle of the night. They do have a Port of John somewhere close by. And the biggest draw, they have thousand miles of gravel roads right at the door yep. so making a plan to ride up there pitch a tent and hang out for several days and just go explore those roads sounds like a must oh yeah well the thing i'm looking at is you know if you go over there you know when there's not a i think i know where i'm at except the other way <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know where i'm at uh, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, go over there when there's not an event or something like that going on and, you know, rent that cabin. Uh, two people rent that one cabin, you know, and it's it's just marginally more than tent camping and you don't got to carry all that gear, so. Oh, there you go. And you're right there at the clubhouse. Uh, and it has all you need, you know? Mm hmm Well, it sounds to me like we need to make that happen. I'm thinking that's a pretty good plan. Nice. Uh, yeah, uh, Facebook group online and on Facebook and, you know, get what? people to share tracks. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, folks, look for a future series of videos where Roger and I go up to this Mountain View campground near Elk Park, North Carolina where they hold the Dueling Banjos event. And we're gonna go up there, we're gonna park ourselves for several days, and we're gonna wagon wheel and do a bunch of the dirt gravel roads up through that area. Just because it's not far away, we can leave all our crap at the, the cabin or the campground and take our naked bikes up there and go have some fun. Oh yeah. Nice. And you know, like I said, whenever I went over this last week, this past weekend, I didn't find out about this place until Wednesday of last week. 
and I went over there Thursday, <laughs> and I knew that the event was going on. Uh, car Jeep on the front. I knew the event was going on, but I didn't know, you know, I didn't know anybody. And so when we did the group ride on Friday, the one day that I did get to ride with them, uh, I didn't really get to do a lot of the filming that I would normally do, uh, just because you know, I didn't want to hold up a group ride. But it was it was a great group to ride with. Some of the guys were spirited, and some of them worked. Nice. And I felt kind of right in the middle, so right where I belong. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel, right where I belong. All right, folks, so look forward to that, and I hope everyone can stay well, stay safe. Most of all, stay happy, y'all. See ya!